The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. Thousands more residents are about to move into Melbourne's newest suburb, Aviator Fields, just next door. Wyndham's one of the fastest growing municipalities in the country. One of the things that our community tells us all the time is a problem for them is the amount of traffic congestion that they deal with. People lose a part of their day stuck in traffic. Really debilitating in the sense of you're losing a part of your life every single day and that's the problem that we're trying to resolve. SNAM it stands for Spatial Network Analysis for Multimodal Urban Transport Systems and it is an accessibility tool. Accessibility is something we understand spatially. So we are actually analysing the context of land use and transport. Tarnit station opened in 2015 and it has fast become the second busiest station on the V-Line network. It is still in metropolitan Melbourne but Look at the surroundings. It is not yet surrounded by urbanized area, but it is encroaching. Wyndham Council is the fastest growing municipality in Australia. It is going to move from just over 200,000 people in 2016 to more than 400,000 20 years later. And the transport system as we know it is already close to breakdown. Seven o'clock, uh, quarter past seven in the morning, all the car parks are full. After that, if you come to the, there's, there's, there's no car park. Wyndham has two train lines. It has an older train line down in Werribee as well. The two train lines are not connected. They do a great job in bringing people to the CBD of Melbourne, but they don't do much of a job to connect different parts of Wyndham to each other. That is currently the job of buses, but buses are slow, they have a low capacity and they will not cope with the demands of a city of nearly half a million. So we need a medium capacity, an intermediate capacity transport mode here and the mode that we are suggesting is a trackless tram. The trackless tram will start right here in Tarnit and will go through the established areas of Wyndham towards Pacific Werribee Shopping Centre and Hoppers Crossing and then it will continue into development areas where a lot of employment and a lot of residential development is going to go up in the next 20 years. So the reason we're looking at the trackless tram is we see it as a technology that can really change uh, the nature of the way public transport is delivered in outer metropolitan areas. We rely on buses to take people to key train station nodes for example. Buses tend to not encourage the sorts of land use intensification that more fixed forms of transport usually do, like trams or trains. And we see the trackless tram offering the opportunity to link the two railway lines, the regional rail link corridor with the metro corridor and linking key activity centres. Some of the suburban areas of Wyndham, such as Point Cook, the East Werribee Employment Precinct and the uh, Aviators Field PSP, where we'd very much like to see people uh, moving from these areas if and when they are developed to key nodes along the rail corridor using trackless trams rather than their cars. For Australian suburbs this is a new thing. <clears throat> For decades Australian suburbs have been, have been very reliant on the car and only had minimal public transport that would do a bit of city centre commuting and create a bit of a social safety net for the disadvantaged who don't, don't have access to a car. Now this is actually a different approach. This is actually trying to bring public transport into the daily life of a lot of people here in Wyndham and making them offers where they can actually do their daily trips, not just to the city but also within Wyndham on high quality, top class public transport. Wyndham's been working with Curtin University and RMIT to do an exercise of analysis and research into the delivery of trackless trams in Wyndham. We found this relationship to be very valuable in terms of developing a uh, solid strategic foundation for why the trackless tram is 
a game-changing technology for outer metropolitan councils. And we've been able to use a thing called SNAMITS to investigate the value add that a trackless tram or various trackless tram routes could bring to Wyndham. And we think this gives us the opportunity to have more robust conversations with key stakeholders, whether that be state government departments, developers operating in the corridor, um, anyone that we need to talk to about delivering the trackless tram, this research gives us a solid foundation to have better conversations with them about making the trackless tram a reality. Good pieces of city have three main criteria. They need a density, they need to have mixed use, and they need to be well connected. The trackless tram provides that at a much lower cost than the traditional tram. The infrastructure required for the trackless tram is not as expensive easily to be introduced and far more flexible. What that brings to these areas is a concentration of energy around the tram line that produces the villages that make up Greater Melbourne. It's the community. It's the space where people will gather. It gives a focus to how those areas can develop.